Did you know, now visible are old California communities, flooded and forgotten since the building of the dams. Behind me is what is left of Folsom Lake. Since the water has dropped to 20% capacity, touring the remnants of the Mormon Island settlement has become an attraction. The lack of stored water in our reservoirs is particularly concerning. We just completed the driest year on record. Yesterday was the first rain of the new year. The quarter of an inch that fell here barely knocked the dust down. By studying tree rings dating back to 1580, a UC Berkeley paleoclimatologist, Professor Ingram, came to the conclusion that in the last 500 years, this could potentially be the driest year. The warm and dry winter has spurred an early bloom. We are just beginning to see a few blossoms from the Sonora variety on the west sides of the Sacramento and Central Valleys, and in the far south growing region around Arvin. This would indicate the full bloom around February 6th to 9th, or 10 days ahead of last year. The early bloom will increase the risk of frost damage. The best defense against frost is water, obviously a problem. In addition to frost control, trees will begin requiring water earlier to support bloom and resulting nut set. Growers are scrambling to secure water from all sources. Even if weather patterns change from current predictions, we will see stressed orchards and possibly lighter nuts. It is likely the 2014 crop will be smaller than 2013. There is good news. Bud sets are adequate, especially on pollinizers. Beehive strength and supply are better. Prices are now at record levels and heading higher. Ending on that high note, please continue to join me as we explore the latest almond news from California and the world.